got to BMW after a seven hour drive. Pulling the M3 around right now. That is beautiful. Dude, this thing is insane. The color is even better in person. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking right now, dude. Oh my gosh, this blue is even better in person. It is so aggressive. Oh my gosh. The laser lights. So wide. Let's check out the interior. The paint looks immaculate too. Got the carbon fiber trim. Wow, dude, this thing is crazy. Dude, the rear end on these things, so wide. I can't believe I'm buying this right now. Like, this is crazy. You guys have no idea how like hard I've been grinding for this car. Got the carbon roof. Dude, this thing is absolutely stunning. I gotta say, it literally feels like I'm dreaming right now. This is insane. Got a seven hour drive home, but uh, hey, at least I'm an M3 comp now. Since I brought this thing home, I have not stopped staring at it. It's weird that I finally own my dream car. And this thing is beautiful. The paint is literally immaculate. I'm definitely gonna miss the 240, but this was the right move. I'm super excited for this build and what I have in store. It just looks so mean. I low-key already bought my first mod for this thing, <laughs> but I won't be able to install it for like a month or a month and a half, but I'm super stoked for when I do. I'm actually doing a PPF on the hood tomorrow. I have a PPF on the front bumper, which came with the car. I don't know why the guy didn't do the hood and the fenders and just the bumper, but it definitely has a ceramic coating all over the car. So it cleans very well, but I do want to at least protect the hood for now. I'm probably going to do the fenders a little bit later, but the hood is a must because there's literally not even a swirl mark on there right now. It's just crazy because you don't realize how different an M car drives until you drive one. I've driven an F80, but it wasn't super long, so I knew it drove different, but being able to drive this for a couple days now, I realize how different an M car really drives and how much better it feels in so many different areas. All right, so this thing has a bunch of different settings in it, but to put it like in the sportiest settings, I have M2, you press twice, and then you actually press M mode, and it puts it in sport, which automatically puts it in manual mode. So let's do a little pull right here. This thing definitely spins like crazy. All right, here's the second gear pull. Holy crap. This thing moves. It's definitely faster than the M240 on 93 octane. I don't know about E40, but this thing, dude, once it gripped, it goes. This thing moves. Wow, that's crazy. It sounds so good for stock. You can't really tell, but it does pop a little bit too. That's all I have for today, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it was like for me to pick this thing up. I mean, most of you know that I've been wanting this car for a long time. I've been talking about it and it's truly as good as it like it exceeded my expectations. Like I absolutely love this car and I'm so excited for what's to come. It looks absolutely stunning. Even for stock, it's a uh, pretty dang aggressive. But stay tuned, I got a ton of content that I'm gonna get out with this car and I'm super excited. So, till next time.